Hello and welcome back to another video of Dragon Quest Walk Tutorials. I am Kohitsu GZ and in this battle we are going to go over the new Mega Monster, so Buddy Game. So, uh, real quick, this is actually my second time fighting Buddy Game. Now, there's actually two different battles. So this is going to be a regular uh, Mega Monster battle against Buddy Game. Um, the special one will actually have special right above it over here and also when you see uh, the portal that um, uh, the Mega Monsters come in on it's going to have special over the portal so uh, be careful of if you're looking for the special one uh, just look for that little special uh, sign. I will do a special Mega Monster body game in a later video. Uh, so one of the first things I want to do is talk about my equipment. So it's going to be very similar to my fight with the Black Dragon. So uh, some of the things that are going to be different are actually going to be with my ranger's gear so before i had my ranger equipped with uh uh the geica armor for the chest piece and the leggings now i have um the wild gear full set on and the main reason why that is is because body gain actually has a couple of wind attacks and the wild gear actually has resistances to wind so uh, one of the main weaknesses of body gain is going to be EO based attacks So I'm still going to use the crystal claw for the god smash and For my souls. I'm going to use Gigantus uh, Gigantus has Over here, so he has plus 10% to weapon uh, skill damage then also uh he has also plus 10% uh, to resistance to Dorma I get from this particular soul. And Body Gain also uses uh, Dormoa, so that's going to come in handy. Then I'm going to use the Boss Troll. So this is a new, um, this is a new soul that I got uh, just recently to S class. And then, um, in this case, it's going to be plus 5% to weapon skill damage, and it's going to be plus 10% to uh, Akamake, or uh, devil-type uh, monsters. Then I'm going to use Killer Machine for that plus 12% uh, weapon skill damage. And then I'm going to use the Evil Priest, for plus 10 weapon skill damage and yes that will be it for my ranger and then of course pearls I'm going to have a grade uh, EO uh, damage increase pearls then for my sage well my first sage so I'm decided to use two sages in this case. This is going to be my offensive sage. So as you can see from my sage's attire, that the sage actually has uh, the divine, some of the divine beast uh, armor set on. So I was able to get it, especially the uh, staff of the divine beast. So with the staff, what we're going to be looking at is not going to be Gigadane, but we're going to be looking at this other ability over here called Soul Flare. So Soul Flare is actually going to be an EO based uh, spell that is going to do considerable damage to uh, the enemy body game. So if you know that EO Nazun does uh, damage to all enemies, uh, that's actually really good damage. This particular spell will be focused damage on just one enemy, so it will be a little bit stronger. Then I'm also going to have some boost to uh, my EO base spell through uh, Lamia's leggings. And then also with this particular new gear, the chest piece, 
I get plus 2% to spell damage uh, for sages and also plus 5% uh, uh, plus 5 to my max HP for sage and then also with this particular weapon I do get plus 10% to damage against body gain so now I'm going to go next to actually going here um, I have used pearls an S grade and an A grade for my pearls I have Zoma uh, the dancing jewels and Neo for plus 10% spell damage and I have the tropical tropical dragon on mainly for a boost in my HP then right here before I was using a paladin but now since I have a battle master uh, level 65 uh, my Setsuna has now become a battle master so this is going to be better for the gear that she's wearing so the world tree uh, chess piece if for battle masters, I get plus two percent to weapon skill damage and five plus five to dexterity, and same also with the leggings, plus two percent to skill damage and plus five to dexterity. Then I'm going to be wearing the Geika helm, though again I have a cosmetic piece on, and then the accessories that I have on both increase. Uh, let's see, HP, my max HP and my attack power, as well as this one gives me plus 12 to attack power. And of course, I'm going to be using the Blade of the World Tree. And then for souls, uh, I have S grade pearls for EO. And then for my souls, I have Dragon Gaia, which gives me plus 7 to EO special skill damage, and then plus 3 to weapon skill damage. Then I also have Boss Troll on here as well, so plus 5 to weapon skill damage and plus 10 to uh, devil type enemies. Then for my slot 3, I'm going to have uh, the Horror Beast. The, this is going to be uh, plus seven percent to weapon skill damage and what I also mainly used it for was an HP boost so 110 and also uh, for strength overall strength 108 then for my last soul I equipped uh, the new one this is going to be the devil knight so gives me 105 for HP then I'm going to have plus 7 to weapon skill damage and then I'm going to have plus 5 to uh, devil type enemies then going to my second sage second sage is going to again be my standard healing sage so not much has changed with this particular sage, it's just a, on a different character. Uh, the souls, uh, all these souls have actually plus 10% to HP recovery effectiveness. So he should be healing about, uh, let's see, also with these particular two pearls that he has on, he should be healing for over 200 each time, almost uh, 210 for some of the characters. So I think I'm ready to go into this battle, and I know I don't have a whole lot of time left, so the first thing I'm going to do before going in is going to heal up. And find bad again over here. I have 18 minutes left, that should be plenty of time. So usually I skip this part in the video, but what I want to do with this part is I'm going to go over Bodygan's actual uh, attacks. So Bodygan uh, will attack 2-3 to three times uh, per round. He has a standard attack. Uh, he can use Lucanon. So if you remember, Lucanon lowers all characters' defenses by one. 
Then he can also use Dormoa. So as you know, Dormoa is a very strong uh, dark based magic spell. He can use uh, Boggy Cross, which again we've seen before in previous videos against some other enemies. He can also use Baishion, which is originally a mage spell, which increases the attack of one character by one. In this case, he will increase his own attack. Then he, have, then he has uh, Bakuretsuken, which is Raging Fist. So this is a four punch attack that hits random characters for physical damage. So it does about, uh, let's say about 110 to 120 damage to each character. And then his final uh, attack is going to be Majin Buu, which literally means like Devil Wind or Demon Wind. So this is a powerful Boggy attack that does 240 damage to all characters and also has a chance to inflict poison and lowering offensive magic by one. So with that said, let's get started. And the first thing I'm going to do is see how this damage does. Okay, 2600. That's pretty good. Then God Smash. And missed. Oh boy. So, actually, in my first video, I actually had the Flame Blade on. And that was only doing about 700 damage. So, I decided to switch it out. And then also, right now, with the Kenja, you just saw Soul Flare. Uh, that's also now doing a bit more damage. I, again, tweaked things around since the last battle. Then, for here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cast Skada on this particular Sage. And thank you, AI, for doing such uh, <laughs> great damage. And there goes Lutanam. There's Dormoa. And my... <laughs> Battlemaster is enraged. 3400, th close to 35. Soul Flare. Okay, 1400. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I was hoping for a bit more, but uh, it's a lot more than the last battle in terms of damage with the sword. There's Boggy Cross. And then there's Dormoa. Okay. I'm really hoping for a Shadow Bind soon. Okay, nice. This is okay, thirty-five hundred. Nice. Yep, like I said, the heels are definitely around two hundred. Two hundred or over. He just cast a Baishion on himself. Uh, that was the raging fist. I'm doing a lot better this particular battle than I am than I than I was in the last battle against him. Okay, thirty-seven hundred shadow lines. No. Nice heals. Okay, Raging Fist, no problem. Yamoa, no problem. And that was the third attack. God's 
Oh, there it goes. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to cast a Behoimi. That was a very nice cattle bind right there. Ooh, nice. Nice echo crit right there with my sage. Ooh. Okay, so that was the Majin Buu. That was the double win. And as you can see on the first sage, my, my offensive sage, it actually inflicted uh, poison on her. speaking a bit too soon so what I'm probably going to do actually I'm going to revive my sage Ooh, nice echo no okay no problem okay cast by Shion raging fist and then only two attacks that turn and with this he should be done Ooh. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna need one more round. Uh, Raging Fist. And Raging Fist again, wow, okay. <sighs> wow. Um, yeah, he would have been down that turn if my ranger had didn't miss oh boy i really hope this doesn't screw me over oh wow oh wow <laughs> how did oh boy Yeah, this, this kind of seems almost a waste. <laughs> um, so I just spent 200 gems to bring my guys all back to full health and full eight MP just to get one more hit in uh, because my ranger actually missed the fatal final blow. Um, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's actually a bit annoying. Quite annoying that uh, <laughs> that character missed the final blow. Though I probably should have had um, my second sage rather than heal, just uh, do some type of attack. That could have been enough, maybe. Well, let's see what I get. Okay, so I get, at least I get a full-grown leaf. Okay. Wow, okay, so I was not happy with the way that ended. Not at all. Uh, but yes, that was, um, a regular Mega Monster battle with, uh, Body Gain. So, 
probably I will be making some other videos as well with Body Gain, like I did with the Black Dragon. Try out some new things and uh, just to see what works. Um, I was hoping to get more damage in with uh, the God Smash, so I'm going to do a bit more research and see what equipment that I can use or what souls I can use to increase the damage for that. Uh, but until then, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. Uh, please subscribe if you want to see more videos, and I'll see you in the next video.